Hey everyone, welcome to the last week of February here at Crossover Media. We had a fantastic interview day with mandolinist Avi Avital. He spoke about his new Vivaldi album with a number of outlets, including the nationally syndicated Classical 24, Minnesota Public Radio, as well as top 20 market stations in Boston, Atlanta, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, and many more. Next up, we're gearing up for an interview date with the phenomenal Jonathan Biss, who recently came out with his album, Beethoven Piano Sonatas, Volume 4. Make sure to follow us on our website and social media as we'll be posting all these interviews for your listening pleasure. This week we started working the new album from bassist and composer Nilsson Mata, entitled East Side Rio Drive. It's a great disc that effortlessly balances jazz and Brazilian rhythms, and radio really loves it. We've been getting a really enthusiastic response with lots of CMJ and Jazz Week reporters adding it daily. Next up, there's been a lot of buzz around Google Play Music this week since they increased their storage limit. Google Play Music users will now be able to store up to 50,000 of their own songs for free. This is a huge increase from the previous 20,000 song limit. This is actually double what Apple allows users to store and is also free unlike Amazon Music. We're really curious to see how this move affects the streaming market and all of the competitors. Lastly, we came across an inspiring story from PBS NewsHour about how music can provide help for those suffering from several forms of dementia or Alzheimer's. In this piece, Paul Lividary said, It's a place where memory doesn't have any effect on me. The music just flows if I want to play whatever I want to play. You can watch the full PBS segment over on our Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching this Crossover Media Week in Review. As always, please check out all of the latest projects at www.crossovermedia.net and make sure to comment and tell us what music you've been listening to lately. Thanks again for watching and see you next week.